I'm Anil Kumar and to understand the concept of mutually exclusive events and then finding probability, I've taken up an example. The question here is, a card is randomly selected from a deck of cards. So it is a standard deck of cards which has 52 cards. What is the probability that the card will either be king or a queen, that the card will either be red or a face card, that the card will either be a heart or an ace. All right. So these are the three questions for you. First part of the question is, we should understand whether these events are mutually exclusive or not. And then we can apply the rules and find the theoretical probability for them, right? Let me also review what these cards are when we talk about, as some students may not understand. When we say uh, face cards, then in a deck, we have four face cards, right? Uh, I mean, we have uh, uh, three face cards, four of each kind, right? So we have actually, let me write like this. We have 12 face cards. And these face cards are uh, jack, queen, and king. And each is of four types, correct? Okay, so that is these four suits, right? Now, when we say red, uh, well, so basically we have red or black cards, right? So they are 26 each, 26 red, or we have 26 black cards. We've used the word heart here, and that is we have four suits. So these four suits are heart and diamonds. These are red ones. And then we have uh, spades and clubs. So all of these uh, heart and diamond, they are red and these are black. And remember, we have 13 of each, right? So we have 13 hearts, 13 diamonds, 13 spades and 13 clubs. So that makes on the whole 52 cards, right? 52 cards. That is the standard deck. Now let's answer the questions. Part A here is either be king or a queen. Now we know this is, if it is a king, it is not a queen, right? So it is mutually exclusive. So this is mutually exclusive. So, so the probability here, let me write here, probability of getting king or queen is actually probability of getting king plus the probability of getting queen. Is it okay? Now there are four kings, right? There are four kings in the whole set of cards and there are four queens. So the probability is four over 52. 52 is the total number of cards plus four over 52, right? So you can combine them and write this as eight over 52. Four over 52 is one over 13. So this becomes two over 13, right? So you can just divide by four. Um, so you get two over 13, right? Why I know it is 13? If there are four players, each get 13. A hand of 13 is distributed in four players. So it's kind of simple. So when you are working with the cards, remember these few basic things, right? So you see this four times 13 makes 52, right? So these are a few ways to remember so that you can quickly answer the question. Now, part B here is either red or a face card. Now, you can see here, we have 26 red cards, right? So in this particular case, we have 26 red cards, right? So when we talk about red cards, so the number of red cards is equals to 26. How about the face cards? Number of face cards, as we have seen here, is 12. Now, are few common between the two? Yes, there are. So number of cards which are red and also face cards are how many? Let's count them all. So we have these three types and two colors, right? So so red, hard and diamonds, correct? So, so we got these 
3 times these two that is 6 half of them are red and face cards out of those face cards you understand so now we can apply the addition rule for mutually exclusive no uh, we cannot apply here we applied let me write down okay sorry here we applied the addition rule okay I wrote rule first rule applied was addition rule since it was mutually exclusive now in this case since we have common elements we'll think about inclusion and exclusion is it okay since there are common elements between the two so the probability of either red or face card will be probability of red card plus probability of face card take away probability of intersection of red and face cards we could write and face cards okay so what we see here is since there are 20 uh, since there are 52 cards in all the probability of red cards is 26 over 52 these are 26 in number plus the face cards are 12 so it is 12 over 52 take away which are both red and face cards 6 right 6 out of 52 right so now we can add and divide so we can add 26 plus 12 plus 6 equals to 44 so we have 44 over 52 correct now we can divide both by by 4 so we know 11 over 13 is the probability of getting either red or a face card i hope that is clear right the last one here is either be a heart or an ace card right so in this particular case heart so how many are hearts number of cards which are hearts let me write h is 13 right so there are 13 of each kind or an ace number of aces we have four how many are common between the two that means uh, there are there is just one ace which is hearts right so so ace and hearts is one and therefore we can write down the probability in this case as probability of getting hearts plus probability of getting ace take away probability of ace intersection heart right now since there are 13 of these we can write this as 13 over 52 plus 4 over 52 minus 1 over 52 correct so that becomes the result uh, let's do the math 13 plus 4 17 take away 1 16 so we have 16 over 52 we well, you know we can divide by 4 so 4 times 16 i mean 4 times 4 is 16 and 4 times 13 is 52 so 4 over 13 is the solution correct i hope this solution helps you to understand the very basic concept on finding per probability for cases which are mutually exclusive or non-mutually exclusive i'm anil kumar you can share and subscribe my videos to learn a lot thank you and all the best